Hey, how are you doing? It is time for a card game fitness fun. I'm Cam Parker, certified personal trainer. And here's another co video. Co video 59. 59. You know what that means? If you went all the way back to number one and you did two to three a week, you'd be in a totally different place as far as strength and how your body feels and all that. And Or you can just join me live on Facebook right now if it's during the pandemic because you know that you could be watching a recording. This could be 10 years later and who knows. But I'm going to, these are going to be up on YouTube right now. It's live on Facebook and I'm so glad you're here. I know you were waiting for me. You're like, where is she? You know, and I was d doing last minute notes on what we're going to do and we're going to have fun. Good morning, Barbara. Glad you're here. Thank you so much for being here. Randy, let's work out. All right. Please, if you're finding these videos, co-videos, I'm a certified personal trainer, Cam Parker. 30 years of experience. I've embraced that number. It took a little bit. It took about a year. <laughs> and um, I want to make sure you have fun working out. So thanks for being here. Let's warm up our shoulders. I use two cans of beans to warm up my shoulders because we got a lot of movement today to have fun. We're going to be using the cards. All right, so we're just taking these light. If you have weights at home, you could use one, twos, or threes. Please don't go over threes, even if you're a big, tough guy. Even if you're a, you know, wind sailing, wind surfing woman or a bodybuilder, just use threes, okay? All right, that will work. And we're just pumping them up, getting these shoulders, starting to wake them up. You can tell I'm awake, right? And I'm awake, I am, I am, for sure. I'm not always awake for the first few minutes of the workout, but that's okay, I'm gonna keep it safe. <laughs> and somebody's saying I need to kick somebody's lazy uh-huh well you know the thing about uh, this video recording is uh, you know I can't see you but I hope to motivate you and know that when you move that's movement is a lovement right so when you move you love love to move so you got to get up and do some self-love I love you so you need to love yourself there you go so I can motivate you to work out and if you follow right along you know, I hope to kick whatever needs to be kicked in a good way, right? So look what we're doing right here. I think I skipped one, but that's okay. See how I'm pouring it out, pouring it out, pouring it out like this, okay? Now we're just going to do this little bicep curl. If, if people have been following along and becoming a, a member of the Cam Parker Fitness Club, right, then you know I'm out of order right now. So that, that would be a bonus if you tell me what I did out of order, right? So we're doing this little bicep curl. See how I do the twist at the top? All right. And now we already did this movement, all right? Now we're going to do this movement together. Together we're going to pour out all the obstacles to you doing the video versus just watching this exercise fun fitness video recording of me right now. Yes. The date of this recording is August 7th, 2020. It's live right now, okay? Hopefully, no matter when you do this, I'm hoping to make it, you know, maybe you'll find this 40 years from now. And you're like, wow, I wonder if she's still working out. <laughs> yes. Yes, there's going to be a picture of push-ups on my marker, right? When I pass. That's my legacy. Nice arms for everyone. Yes. Fit fun. Yes. Pour out all the obstacles and celebrate your fitness. Pour all the obstacles out that get in the way of you committing to being as fit and healthy and as happy as you can be right now. Yes. Yay. Yes, I'm happy. Boom, I'm happy you're here. Mm, out with the obstacles, in with the success. Right? And you can't really remove obstacles, right? You got to go under, around, over, through obstacles, right? Sometimes they get out of the way. That's kind of fun. Usually people help you with that one. All right, see this nice little gentle rollover like this? That's right. Just do a few of these. I'm getting a little out. I do this all the time. I do this exercise routine about this shoulder warm up, and I always get a little burn right here and then. Boom. There you go. Okay, so it is a card game. So what we're going to do is use the exercises to warm you up as we demo. So do them gently. And uh, don't try to go all out right now. We'll just probably do like 10 each. So the first one is climb the vine. And you have to use your imagination. And that's if we pull, these are our aces. If I get an ace of spades, we're just going to climb the vine. So don't overthink it, right? You got to move your arms, right? 
grab the vine and move your legs. So this really isn't a count as much as a time. So we're gonna do a minute. So it's a coordinated reach up, stand, get the, it's almost like some people would call it a ladder climb, right? But I'm into, I, I like visualizing a, a vine like Jack and the Beanstalk more than a ladder, okay? So invisible jump rope is another ace, ace of, sp ace of hearts. So you pretend you have a jump rope and then you start jumping. All right, we're just gonna jump around for about 30 seconds. That's right, hey, I have sparkles on. Can you see them? I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, there it is. Yes, sparkles. I was like, man, I haven't worn my sparkle kicks in a while. So I put them on. Bum, 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 bum. Invisible jump rope. So, you know, you can do doubles. Right now we're just warming up. So we're just going to be tapping the floor nice and gentle. Mm -mm -mm. Dun, dun, dun. So what happens if we get an ace of clubs? Let me show you. So if you are working out with me, you need two one gallons of water, unless you have weights at home. You need two cans of beans, unless you have weights. And you need a chair, all right? A nice, strong, sturdy chair. So walkouts, okay, you ready? We're gonna walk out. So we sit down, we put our hands down, and we walk out, all right? Then we're gonna walk back, sit down, stand up. Now, depending on your fitness level, that might be really tough. So I would like it if you just put your hands down, put the weight in your hands, and then sit back down, sit up nice and tall, big arm swing. You don't have to walk all the way out. So that depends on your fitness level. Okay, so we walk out, and we walk back, stand up, sit down, walk out, walk back, and we're gonna do that till I get tired. Okay, that's how we're gonna run that one. Okay, I could be lying there. Hi Lauren, what's up? Okay, so we're warming up right now. So marching plank is the other, is the next ace, the ace of diamonds. So if I, and here's one thing that's gonna be different today is I'm gonna stick those aces back in the deck. Uh-oh, that sounds scary. All right, so I'm in plank position. I can use my chair, most people can do this. Remember in plank, you don't relax. Your belly's tight and your glutes are tight. So let's go ahead and do 10 marching planks. You can be on the floor or in the chair. And I'm gonna march by doing this. One, just lift, alternating, lifting the legs. Let's do a few of these, about 10. We're just warming up by showing the exercises. By doing, I'm showing, you're doing, and I'm doing. Doing and showing. All right, all right, there you go. Woo, just a few of those. All right, let's get into the cards. So what happens if I flip a spade? Remember, face cards are 10 reps. Everything else is the number. And you just add them together. We flip two cards at a time. You could flip more. Um, so the spades are pickups or get ups. All right, so a pickup would be you squat down like you're going to pick something off the ground. You bring it up. So the key is I want you to actually touch the ground. So if I was in a chair, for whatever reason, like my fitness level, I'm just not feeling today, haven't had enough coffee yet, something like that. I could touch the ground and then just raise my arms real tall, touch the ground and stand up real tall. Touch the ground. So when we do these card and dice games, the whole idea on the fun Fridays or the third workout in the sequence is to put it all together. What good is strength if you can't like pick up plants safely, play with kids, so here, let's stand. We're gonna do 10 touch the ground or pickups is what they call it. So I'm gonna pick something up, come up. One, two, three. It's very similar to Magic W. Four, five, six. Okay, stop there, because I wanted to show you get ups. Now get ups are different, and then you lay on the ground, sit down on the ground, and then you gotta get up onto your feet. Right? So you get down on the ground, you can go all the way to court, pose, right, and then get up. All right? Those are get ups. They're very good for you. All right? All right, the next one is, are you starting to feel a little warm? I am. It is Happy Jack, one of my favorite. So you clap your hands over your head and lift your legs up to the side. Good, happy Jack. Let's go. Two, three. Let's go. Two, three, four. Doesn't matter how you count. Five, six, seven. Got a smile. Eight. 
nine, ten. That's a happy jack. Yay! And then we're going to do seated, not seated, we're going to do glute raises. And there's not really a substitute for these, except if I'm just someone I'm not going to get on the floor, you could sit in your chair and raise your glutes up off the chair. The thing is, is it's hard to feel it in your hips. You might just feel it in your shoulders and your arms. If you would and can and feel safe to get down on the ground, you get down on the ground, we're gonna put one leg in the air, and then we're gonna focus on raising our glute, our butt muscle, our butt, our hips off the ground like this. So here, let's practice a few. Here we go, I'll do eight of these. One, two, three, four. Now you can see my sparkles. Five, six, seven, eight. Now you're gonna switch legs, do it from the other side. One, push as hard as you can. Two, your shoulders are down on the ground. Three, chest is out. Four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. And if you notice, one of the benefits of that is when I go down to get the glute raise done, I have to get down on the ground, get up off the ground, okay? So it is important that if you can, to pace along with me and just follow along. But if you get with the cards, we kind of don't take much of a break. We will when I have to, huh? and stay with it. Okay, so uh, that's the glute raises, butt raises, or so, also known as butt up skis, but we're doing singles, one on each side. And then goofy jacks. What are goofy jacks, Cam? Well, let's practice the strict jumping jack. Very military. Here we go. You ready? Ten of these. One, two, three. Or you can step out. Four, five. You don't have to jump. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so goofy jacks are the opposite of that. They look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got to clap your hands though. Eight, nine. And 10. So it's just whatever you want to do, as long as you clap your hands. Okay, that's a goofy jack. I love this. I really do. It's terrible. It's a wonderful, terrible thing. All right. Okay, so you ready? We're warmed up. Now, now we did do a lot of movement, but if your joints are feeling cranky, just understand you can rub on them, right? Make sure you drink some water. You're good to go. Okay, we're going to do flip two cards. If I get a pair, there's going to be a little surprise exercise in there that I will explain. Okay, now, because I didn't explain it, I'll probably get a pair going out of the, right now, right here. I got a six, and I got a king. Okay, it's not a pair. Six of clubs, and the clubs are the glute raises. I'm going to take this camera down just a little, make sure I don't get off camera. All right, so you're down on the ground. We're going to do six on each side. I'm down. My arms are flat. And I'm actually pressing my shoulders down, raising the glutes six times on one side. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Switching sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. We are up. And it is a king of diamonds, which is the Goofy Jacks. You ready? Ten Goofy Jacks. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, a six, a seven, eight, a nine, and a ten. <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to flip cards for 30 minutes. I have hearts only, and we have rep count of 11. 11 hearts. So that is the Happy Jacks. So, all right? So a happy jack is your uh, leg raise. Remember to lean towards the leg you're lifting. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good. Remember, with a happy jack, your foot may want to point up, which you can do anything you want with a goofy jack. But with a happy jack, keep the foot parallel to the ground and you want to squeeze your ribs right here towards your legs. All right, flipping two cards. Queen of clubs, two of hearts. Let's get those hearts done. Two more happy jacks. 
one, two, and 10 clubs, which is the glute raise, all right? So we're back on the ground. Or remember, if you're in the chair, you're gonna be pushing your body out, pushing your body out. Okay, I'm on the ground, legs are bent, one leg goes ups and ups in the air, ups in the air. Yeah, there you go. Ten reps, ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're switching. One, two, three. Four, five, six, but focus on your glute. Seven, eight, you got this. Come on, all the way up. Nine, push harder through the hips. Ten, so you really want to push hard through that foot that's on the ground. All right, we're up. Okay, love getting up and down. That's part of the exercise. All right, we have seven hearts. Happy Jack. All right, standing tall. Ready, go. One, two, Three, four, almost turns into a goofy jack. Five, six, seven. And then spades, which is the pickups or get ups. Okay, so I'm going to actually get up. So that means I'm going to get on the ground and stand up. If you're not going to lie down all the way on the ground, you're going to touch the ground and get stand all the way up. Very similar to the magic W. If you don't know what that is, it's in one of the other workouts. All right, here we go. We got to do 10 of these. On the ground, I'm on my back. All right, I'm gonna stand up. Yay, back down, that's one. On the ground, back up. Two, now don't always get up on the same side. Oh, I'm down. All right, we're up. Three, down on the ground. Come on, keep up with me, you can do it. Four, remember you can just sit down in the chair and stand up in the chair. Oh, I'm not up yet, gotta get up. Five, down on the ground. And six, there's not really a scientific method to getting up. And seven, three more. Just be glad I'm not doing Turkish get-ups. Eight, very complicated. That'll be another video. Here we go. Nine, we got one more. Get on the ground and get up. 10. Okay, let's say you think that's brutal, lying down, getting up. I can see that. So remember, it's a get up, which I just did, or a pickup. A pickup is you just squat down, pretend to pick up something awesome, and you put it up on the shelf. Okay? Good job. All right, we're flipping two cards, flipping two cards. Okay, we have an ace. We have an ace of clubs. That is the walkouts. They're also known as inchworms. So if you're familiar with the <clears throat> With an inchworm, you don't use the chair, and you walk out, hit plank, and walk back, right? And so the walkout difference is I'm going to do it from the chair, and we have, we're going to do these for 10, all right? So I put my hands down on the ground from the chair, we walk out, hit plank, you can add a push-up right there if you want to, so this is one, Get to the chair, stand up. All right, here we go. Two. If you're doing inchworms, you don't stand up. Three. Hit plank. Four. Walk it out. Walk him back. Five. Come on, come on. And here we go, six. Now, I'm, I'm, this is putting it all together. I'm using all my muscles, my whole body. Seven, all right. Here we go. Eight, two more. Two more, walking out. When I walk backward, don't put your butt in the air, bend your legs. Eight, did I already say eight? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll just do these till I get tired, which will be 10. This is nine. Walking out, walking out. Walking 
and backwards, and 10. Okay, hope you had fun with those. That is an ace. Usually I don't put them back in. We are burying it back in there. We may see that again, depending on how much we get through. All right, two more cards. I have a five of spades, which is the happy jack. Let's do this. Standing tall, and one, two, three, four, five. And I have a king of hearts, and hearts, Oh, wait a minute. Spades was five. Okay, so that's the pick up our gifts. But here we go. Let's do five more happy jacks. Ready to go. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to wear glasses during this. Two, three, four, five. So we had ten happy jacks and five get ups or pick ups. This is the pick up. Touch the ground, earth to the sky. I'm gonna do get ups. So I'm getting all the way down. Here we go. And I'm getting back up. Woo, one. Very similar to Goofy Jackson, way, because you can be really goofy. You just lie down, get up, two, get down, get down, ah. and three, two more, lie down, and four, one more, all the way down, on the floor, don't run into your coffee table, and five. All right, very good exercise. People talk to me all the time, I want to be able to get on the ground and get off the ground easier. Well, the best thing to do is to practice getting on the ground and getting off the ground. Okay, here we go. We have a nine of diamonds. Okay, I have a pair. All right, so that is the surprise. We're going to do, it's a double, it's a pair. We're going to do windmills. So, I'm going to grab, for me, I'm going to grab one eight pound gallon, right, of water. And we're standing, I hadn't, I didn't explain this in the warm up because you really need to be warm before you do this exercise. And if you're familiar with triangle pose and yoga, it's very similar. So right now I have one foot pointing to you and another foot off at 90 degrees. I'm gonna put my arm straight up and with the leg facing out, I'm going to do what we call a windmill, where we come down, similar triangle pose, and back up. So we're gonna do nine on each side. You ready? Here we go. One, two, you do not have to have weight, three, and you can do this from a chair. Four, where you just do the top half of the movement. Five, six, Seven, eight, make sure you stand up all the way tall. You have to complete the repetition. Nine, I'm switching sides, so I switch my feet. I'm in that wide stance. One foot straight at you, the other foot 90 degrees out. Arm straight up, other arm where the leg is out, down with the weight. And technically you want that palm facing toward me. Okay, here we go. If you're facing the camera, one. Two, three, four, oh yeah, come on. Five, stand tall, squeeze the glutes at the top. Six, connect to your body. Seven, eight, if you're just jumping in and finding me, make sure you warm up. Hit pause if it's a recording and warm up before you start the workout. Nine, one more. Here we go. And 10, I, 10 was a bonus. Okay, I really, really like double windmills. They're one of my favorites because they're this, they target the same muscles as a side plank. And that's really good for your lower back strength for overcoming lower back achiness. Okay, here we go, two more cards. We got a six and a seven, six of diamonds, which is the Goofy Jacks. Yes, let's do those, here we go. One, two, clap your hands, three, four, Six, pick up your feet. Oh, I said six, okay. Number seven is the clubs, and that are the glute raises. So we have to get down on the ground, or you're gonna pick up your glutes, your butt, off that chair. Here we go, it's seven on each side. So I'm down on the ground, arms are flat, shoulders are pulled back towards the ground. Make sure your shoulders are not up near your ears, one leg's up, ready, go, one. Two, three, four, go in the seven, push hard. Five, push through that heel. Six, one more, seven. Switching legs, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push it, lucky number seven. Good job, good 
good job. Okay, that's a sip of water. I think I'll get some right here. Mm. Mm. Take a second, get some water, breathe deep. All right, flipping two cards, flipping two cards. What do I have? I have a three of diamonds, which is the Goofy Jacks. You ready? Don't overthink it. Have fun. One, two, and three. And two of the clubs, which I love this. You got to get down there and do two butt raises off of each leg. So that would be four if you're in the chair because you're using both legs. Okay, put a leg up. Push in twice. We're going to do it slow. One. And two. Switching legs. One. And two. Awesome. And we are up. Can you tell that this is a lot about getting down on the floor and getting up off the floor? Yes. All right. Ace of diamonds. Everything stops. Okay. This is the marching plank. It will be for one minute. You're either going to do it on the ground or on the chair. All right, and I'm gonna split the difference. I'm gonna start on the chair. So I'm in a plank, strong plank. Got you on the timer, ready, go. All right, and we're just gonna march those legs up, squeezing the glutes as tight as we can the whole time, especially as we lift. All right, marching plank, squeezing, alternating. Yeah, really focus on a good plank. Head is neutral. All right, that's about halfway. Keep going. I'm gonna change it to the ground. Marching from the ground. This is a one minute plank while marching the plank. Doing the alternating leg lifts. Doing great, stay with it. Keep your arms locked. I like to spread my fingers apart. 10 seconds. Keep moving, keep moving. Squeeze your abs. Squeeze your abs, keep going. Run through the finish line. One more and stop. Bravo, bravo. You just did that. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna bury that ace. That means I put it back in the stack, see if we get to it. All right, I just flipped two more cards. King of clubs, which is the glute raise, which I like follow to see how the universe does a good workout because we just did a glute. Exercise, now we're gonna double up. Here we go, we're on our backs. Or you're in the chair, lifting off the chair with your seat, lifting your seat off the seat. All right, one leg's up, 10 reps, ready, go. One, push through the glute and the heel. Two, three, four, five, keep your shoulders down, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Changing legs. Taking a breath on this chair. If you're doing both legs at the same time, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All the way up. 10, make sure you're pushing really hard and lifting your hips off the ground as hard as you can. All right, it's six Goofy Jacks, you ready? Okay, Goofy Jacks, no, I'm wrong. They're, they're fun, I know you're already jumping. Happy Jacks, Happy Jacks, ready to go? One, two, three, four, five, six, that's it. Okay, see I get confused with the Goofy and the Happy, but the Happy is more technical, the Goofy is just fun, right? Okay, here we go. We have a five of diamonds. Five of diamonds is the Goofy Jack. So let's do those. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And two of the spades, which are the pickups or get ups. So I'm going to get down on the ground. Let's do it. All right, get all the way down and let's get up. Just stand up. There you go. You stood up. That's a get up. And you're going to get all the way down on the ground. My back touches the ground. I'm going to get up. There you go. I got up. Okay. That was good. We just had two of those. All right. Ten of hearts and an ace of spades. Let's do the ten of hearts first. That's the happy jacks. 
Okay, remember in the happy jack, keep your foot parallel to the ground as you lift the leg. Ready, go. One, two, I can look at my foot and see. Three, lean toward it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And which ace came back? It's a new ace. It's, it's climb the vine. We're going to climb the vine, which is also like a pretend ladder climbing, for one minute. Okay, you ready? Let's get up that vine. Jack and the Beanstalk. Woo! Ready, go. <clears throat> can you coordinate it? I don't know. I don't know if I can coordinate it. And we're climbing. So the main thing is you're marching and pulling the arms down and hopefully doing opposites. But don't worry about it. You just think about reaching up, pulling down, reaching up, pulling down while marching. Here we go. Come. 30 more seconds. Pull, 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 pull the vine, pull the vine, pull the vine. Come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. Put some force in that. Don't relax those arms. Tense them up. Tense them up. 15 seconds. Come on, come on. Reach, reach, reach. Come on. That's it, that's it. Keep going. Pull that rope, pull that rope. Squeeze the hands. I squeeze my fists as I close around the vine. Five seconds. Go, go, go. And, okay. Okay, we're up on top of that cloud. And what I see is that the, the giant needs a new roof. Yep, he does. Yep, he does. Okay. All right, two, two cards, two cards. Here we go. All right, we have a five of hearts, which are happy jacks. Take a deep breath. And be happy. One, two, three, four, and five. Here you go. And ten of diamonds, which are the goofy jacks. Hey, I get a ten. Ready? You ready? And go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, clap your hands, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. It's just really just jump around, act like a crazy person. You get all these oxytocin and these fun chemicals in your brain. It's, it's great. That's why we're doing this. Okay, we have two face cards, so the reps are ten count. First one, ten of spades. That is the get down on the ground, the get ups, or the pick ups. Picking something up, putting it up on a shelf. You ready? Ten. And go. I'm on the ground. And I'm up. That's one. On the ground. And I'm up. That's two. On the ground. And I'm up. Three. On the ground. And I'm up. Four. You could just sit down in your chair and then get up. And five, that's fine. Do what your fitness level is. Whatever makes you feel successful. And six, I'm down and I'm up. Seven, and I'm down on the ground and I'm up. Eight, kids love this exercise. And I'm down on the ground and I'm up. Nine, down on the ground, one more. And I'm up and 10. Yes. All right, what was the other ones? Oh, Goofy Jacks, we already did those. All right, here we go. I think, it's okay if we didn't. <laughs> I got a joker. Hey, I tell a joke, it's a joker. What do you call worms? Worms all over the world. Global warming. Okay, I know it's bad, all right. Okay, so well, another, get rid of that joke. Okay, I've got a queen of the diamonds and a seven of spades, queen of diamonds, goofy jacks. Let's do some goofy jacks. All right, stop being serious. Get as goofy as you can be. Like, if there's someone in the room, stick your tongue at them, stuff like that. All right, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yeah, that's right, I'm acting goofy and so shall you. All right, the other one is the spade and the spade is the pickups or get ups. Seven reps. All right, I'm on the ground. Are you on the ground? Are you gonna sit down in the chair? That's okay. Then you gotta get up. One. You gotta sit down in the chair, get up, put your arms in the air. We're going to seven. Two. Down on the ground. Back up. Three. Please don't run into your furniture. On the ground. Back up. Four. On the ground. Five, I'm alive. 
on the ground. I like to touch my whole body down. Six on the ground. One more. One more. And we're up. We're up. Number seven. Awesome. Two more cards. Flipping two cards. We have a five of clubs. And then we have spades. Get ups again. So, on the clubs, you're either seated in the chair, going to lift your butt off the chair, or you're down here, and we're going to do singles. One leg up, arms are down on the ground, push through the glute like a butt up ski. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Other side, please. Here we go. Push it up. One. Drive through that glute and heel. Two. Three. Four. And five. Awesome. All right. Yes. Yes, I pulled a ten. A jack of spades, which is the get down on the ground, get up. Remember, you can use the chair. Remember, you can just do the pickup. Arms in the air. I'm going to get down on the ground. Here we go. Down on the ground. And we're up. One, down on the ground, and we're up. Two, down on the ground, and we're up. Three, pick something up, put it up. Four, on the ground, get up. Five, I'm alive, on the ground, and get up. Six, on the ground. Guess who taught me this exercise? The U.S. military. Seven, <laughs> on the ground, getting up, going to 10. Eight is great, on the ground, all the way down. And nine, one more, 10, we're gonna do it. Number 10, boom, we win. Okay, you might be watching that and say, that's insane, I'm not doing that. Hopefully what you're doing is at least sitting on the chair, getting up, getting down. Getting up, you could get down, touch the ground. Get up with that chair right there, that's fine. Do what makes you feel successful. Do what feels safe to you. Okay, we have five minutes left and I'm taking a sip. What is next? What do the cards have in mind for our life for the next few minutes? I have a jack and I have an eight. I have an eight of diamonds and a jack of clubs. Let's do the clubs first. The clubs are that glute raise we were just doing, right? Remember, you can raise your glutes from the chair. You'll end up doing 16 because you gotta do eight with us and then eight on the other side. All right, I'm on the ground, leg is up, pushing through, ready, go. One, two, three, four, Five, push hard. Six, slow it down. Seven, eight. Don't just let your body fall down. Lift and lower. Here we go. Eight on the other side. Eight more butt ups off the chair. Ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push hard. Seven and eight. Nice. All right. And the other card was the Goofy Jacks. Eight of ten of those. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. Goofy Jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Yes. Just have fun. Don't take it. People take exercise so serious. And that's okay. If you're an Olympic athlete, that's okay. All right, cool. We got two cards, both are clubs. We add those together, nine plus four, 13. So again, if you're in the chair for these, this is gonna be tough, because you're gonna do 13, pause, do 13 again. So you pick this butt right off that seat, okay? If that's really hard, you could also just hold it off the seat for as long as you can while we do the reps on the floor. All right, it's gonna be 13 each leg. On the ground, one leg's up, 13 reps, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, keep going, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, get that other leg up, push as hard as you can from the ground, ready, go, one, two, three, four, try to get those hips higher now, come on, five, six, seven, hold your shoulders down, eight, nine, ten, three more, eleven, twelve, one more, thirteen, outstanding, good, all right, we're up, we're up, we have time for a few more cards, I just flipped an ace of diamonds, that is the marching plank, remember I told you I buried that ace, put that back in the stack, so, you can do it from the chair, right, like this with control, or from the ground. All right, we got one minute. Let's get ready. Hit your plank, lock it in, start marching. And we don't have to count, because we're going for a full minute. If you start to run out of juice on the ground, just stop and quickly do plank on the chair. Okay, you've already got a quarter of it done. And just lift with control. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Squeezing your abs. Squeezing your abs. Come on. You got this. Keep those arms locked. Shoulders out of your ears. I do have you on the timer. Don't worry. Keep going. Keep it going. 15 seconds. Come on. You can do it. Do the best you can. Do the best you can. 10 seconds. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Five seconds. Come on. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. And done. Oh. All right. That was great. So we're flipping one more card. <laughs> and it is the spade, which is the get up. All right. So we only have four of them. Are you ready? This is how we're finishing. All right, down on the ground, or you're sitting in your chair, if you're getting up, that's one. Down on the ground, and you're getting up, that's two. Down on the ground, right, and you're getting up, three. One more, one more. Okay, here we go, and boom. Number four, thank you so much, you just did that workout. <laughs> So you just flip cards without basically we stop for water briefly for 30 minutes. And that's after we did that extended warm up going through all the exercises. You are awesome. Thank you for joining me. I so appreciate it. Okay, we got to cool down. Whew. Well, we definitely worked our glutes out. So the first thing I want to do for the cool down is have a seat in the chair. And if, if you've had a hip replacement, don't do this exercise. I just want you to sit up tall or maybe lean forward like this, and that'll help stretch the glute a little bit. But here we go. My legs up on the other, and I'm gonna just sit tall, and I might feel it right there in that glute. Okay, I'm gonna just relax with that a little bit. And then we're gonna take our hand, push down on the knee that's bent, and you might feel that in the hip a little more. Thank you so much for being here. The cards and the dice are always fun because they go by fast and I get to be really goofy. Not that I'm not goofy all the time, but more goofy than usual. All right, so now release that knee and then from the waist, lean or bend or hinge forward and that's where you really feel it in the glute. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna come back up and we're gonna switch legs. Okay, and you just sit here. And for some people, this feels very tight. Okay, somebody knows I'm cooling down. Let me go let Darby out. Okay, come here, Darby. Okay, there you are. I'm still cooling down. I'm not done yet. All right, holding this. Now push down on that knee. Why don't you jump up there and hang out? Just jump up there. Just wait. All right, she has four legs. Really hard for her to do this particular stretching. All right. And now release that knee and lean forward. There you go. She's up on the couch. All right, and we're leaning forward. Now I really feel that right in the glute, right near the hip joint. 
All right, now remember, don't roll over, just lean hinge from the waist. And we're holding this, and this, from what we've studied, what I know is it can help uh, prevent or perhaps mitigate uh, sciatic nerve problems or piriformis syndrome, which is a, a fancy word for when your butt hurts. All right, all right, we're gonna sit back up and we're gonna slide over to the edge of the chair, stick a leg way back. All right, I'm gonna sit really tall, so I'm stretching the front of the, the hip joint on this side. Sitting up real tall. And now I wanna bring my arms up and I'm gonna to lean towards that open leg, but don't fall off the chair. All right, stretching out these ribs right here. Mm. Excellent, excellent. I'm so proud of you. If you were able to keep up with my pacing, you really, need to give yourself a big pat on the back because I paced it pretty quick today, especially to get down the ground and getting up. Okay, switching to the other side. All right, pushing that leg back, opening up that hip. All right, I'm so proud of y'all. If you've done more than one, you know, if you've done a few workouts in the comments, if you would just let me know, I'd really appreciate that. All right, now we're going to raise our arms up. Right, and we're gonna lean away from the leg that's back. Or the other way, it doesn't matter too much. Whichever side you didn't stretch yet. And down, good. All right, we're gonna stand. We're gonna put our hands on our hips and roll them around. Roll them around. <laughs> I know, she's great. My dog's down here. We call it carpet surfing. She's rolling around on the carpet. She's listening to me. I'm so glad. All right, like this. Okay, and now empty coat sleeves where we just relax. And if you could see my feet, I know I'm a little closer to the camera. My heels are coming up as I turn this way and that way, yes. <laughs> Darby's doing a great cool down there. Yeah, she has to roll all over her morning treat before she'll eat it, yeah. Oh, to be a dog, the life of a dog. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have dogs in your life. Send me a picture. I love pictures of dogs. All right, show me how awesome they are, like mine. Please take loving good care of yourself. I'm going to see you in just a few days for the next workout. And remember, if you're just finding these, it's best in numerical order, and that's where you'll get the best results. So let's breathe together. <sighs> Yeah, let's do that again. <sighs> we may there, remember we're breathing in love and breathing out love to the world because it's contagious. One more, re ready, go. <sighs> Good job. Good job. She knows we're ready for a walk. I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye.